Hi guys, welcome to my uh, session on the differences between EMF and potential difference. So, uh, I will just explain one by one what is the EMF stands for and what is the potential difference stands for. So, you will come to know what are the differences easily. So, first of all, EMF, first of, first of all, EMF, it non electrostatic origin, it is the cause of current in a circuit. EMF is the thing, electromotive force, which is the only thing which causes the origination of current in the circuit. Potential difference, it is the effect of current in a conductor. Potential difference when it happens, whenever a current flows through that particular conductor or the thing, then there is a difference of potential difference will happen. But in EMF, it creates the current. And it exists even if the terminals are open. If the terminals are open, still EMF exists. Potential difference across the R is zero if the current through it is zero. If there is no current, there is, will be no potential difference. It is caused by the current only, effect of current only. So without current, there will be no potential difference. So work done by non static means chemical, thermal or solar cells. Because in this thing, the EMF is generated by these things like chemical reaction, thermal and solar cells. So it is non electrostatic in region. And line integral of electrical field strength between two points, same as that. And EMF is expressed in volt and potential difference is also expressed in volt. I hope you understand the basics of the difference between EMF and potential difference. If you like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.